welcome. In this tutorial, we'll cover how to track time in Clockify. First, open Clockify in your browser, go to login, enter your email and password and log in. Once you're inside the app, you'll see the time tracker at the top. Here you can start a timer or manually log your activity. Let's first see how the timer works. When you start working on something, click start and the timer will start counting. Notice that the icon in the tab turned blue, so you can know that the timer is running even if you're in some other tab. While the timer is running, you can write what you're working on and then stop the timer when you're finished. There, now we have created our first time entry. Here you can see the total time you've tracked today. When you want to start working on the activity again, click on the play button next to the time entry. This will start a new timer for that activity, which is very useful when you're taking a break. In case you started working before you started the timer, click on the time and enter your real start time. If you wish to cancel the timer, click X. When you stop the timer for this activity for the second time, the time will be added here. When you click here, you'll see the individual entries with their respective start and end times. If you wish to see the entries in chronological order instead, go to Profile Settings and Disable Grouping. Now all entries are shown individually. You can also add time for past activities manually. First, switch to manual mode here. Enter the activity, the start and end times and click add. If you don't care about the start and end times, you can just type the duration. If the activity didn't happen today, you can click on the calendar and choose the date and add time retroactively. A quick way you can log time is to duplicate an existing entry. Find the entry you wish to log again, click on options, duplicate and change the date. Duplicate is also useful when you want to add an entry but can't use the manual mode because the timer is already running. In case you wish to fix an entry or add more information, you can edit it at any time by clicking on what you wish to edit like this. If you wish to delete an entry, you can do it here. You can also mass edit entries by turning on the bulk edit mode here. Then you can select entries, click bulk edit, check what you wish to update, enter the new value and save. If you're an admin, you can edit your team's entries in the detailed report the same way. If you wish to disable editing or adding time manually, you can go to workspace settings and enable force timer, after which users won't be able to switch to manual mode or edit start and end time of their existing time entries.